What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Apple just dropped all of their latest betas for iOS 26, including iPadOS 26 beta 3. So having said that, let's take a quick look and see a couple things here. First things first, let's take a look at the build number and you can see beta 3 is going to carry a G build and this is uniform across all betas this time. So this full build number is 23A5287G. This G does signify that it is a little behind, strangely enough, what we did receive in beta 2 because that had an F build. But what's even more interesting is just how large this build was. So this came in a little over a few gigs here, which for a third beta is a little strange. Usually you're assuming a few hundred megabytes. That anticipates us having quite a few number of changes here and just really swiping through and scrolling around, you can see just how quick and fluid this is actually running. What's really neat about that too is, and really hopefully encouraging, is that this should be the first public beta as well. Should be the exact same thing as soon as this drops. So, Let's go ahead and talk about exactly when we should anticipate some of these next betas coming out and talk about some of the features. So today is July 7th. As anticipated, we should even receive the first public beta tomorrow on the 8th or next week on the 14th or 15th, which is very interesting. And it is good to see that matches up with their July time frame. Now, a lot of people had concerns about the liquid glass and how it looked actually, and being able to see the translucency and readability here. As you can see here, it looks ever since beta two that it is improved slightly and it is much more viewable. Same with notifications here. Everything does look a little better. The main encouraging things here is just how quick everything is loading. Beta two wasn't terrible for us, but it is definitely hugely obvious that it is much better here than on beta two, right from when it finished the build. We did know that we do have that new menu bar options. Nothing new has been added or changed here. So I don't believe we're gonna see a lot of new features. I think this should be more so along the lines of a bug fix instead of a feature rich release, which is gonna be good to see because we needed those stability improvements. We know about those new options I just showed you, the minimize, close, and maximize options, and that new multitasking bar as well. If you wanted to kind of just go like this and launch two apps and go ahead and move over, you can obviously do all of this as needed, and it works very, very well and very smoothly. The journal app as well, like we've talked about before, is now here if that's something you do want to utilize. The files app still is a little bit of a blank slate, but the preview app more so is even more of a useless app than it's ever been because, well, this is the exact same thing as the files app and doesn't seem to serve a great purpose just yet. We do also know we have those background processes that are going to be still here as well, and it should be able to load things kind of a la dynamic island so you can see where everything is loading and running from, and it should be good to go in that regard. Again, I haven't experienced any real hindrances or crashes or springboard crashes here, so it's definitely nice to see Apple improving these betas. But that's it for this one, guys. I wanna keep it quick and easy for you. If we find any new features that we didn't talk about, we will do a follow-up video, but if you're interested in running the betas, beta three is out and you can download it right now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.